Here is the world's first 3D printed Dake steam engine. Also it's called the 2 square piston uh, engine. It has uh, five um, major components. Body, crankshaft, inner piston, outer piston and cover and bolts and nuts to uh, hold the system together. Body has a hole uh, for crankshaft and a groove to hold inner and outer cylinders. As you can see here, uh, crankshaft has an eccentric pin. When rotated, it will uh, move inner and outer uh, uh, cylinder uh, very peculiar way. You may like it when it we do the animation. Let's first put this crankshaft in place and let's put it there and inner piston has a four inlet port and exhaust port. Actually for example any hole here uh, half of the cycle will be uh, inlet the other half it will be exhaust it will be true for all of them and as you may can see from here, those holes come out from somewhere here. It's not shown because it's a black color. It absorbs uh, light. There's a, holes coming from four side, and this reason uh, for it will be clearer when we do the uh, animation of the mechanism uh, by the rotating crankshaft manually. And similarly, the uh, outer uh, piston has two holes for air, compressed air or steam to pass through. Cover has uh, two holes in front of uh, it. Center one uh, will be exit for the uh, air and or uh, steam. Uh, the other one, eccentric off-center one, will be used uh, for pressurized air or steam to enter. If you make connection the opposite way, engine will rotate the opposite direction. Let's try to assemble the system. Since the crankshaft is located there, and because of these screws, we have to put the um, outer cylinder such that these holes will come will come at the left and right of the engine. Once we locate, uh, put it in the place, let's try to put hardest one is to uh, put this inner piston in place. If we are lucky, okay, in this case we were lucky. Let's uh, make some uh, movement and uh, you begin to understand how system is working. As you can see, when I am rotating crankshaft, a uh, green one, uh, outer uh, piston goes left and right and black one goes up and down. During this process these holes shown here will uh, be coincide with the grooves in inlet pressurized air and uh, exit uh, uh, port at the center as shown. And I am going to put another flash animation of this system into my website so that you can see uh, much clearer how those inlet and exit uh, air is working. But let's do more movement of this interesting uh, engine. This engine used uh, such a long time and it was very successful. Actually someone should uh, do hydraulic motor from this one because it's so simple to do it. I'm sure that hobbyists would like to make some steam engine by using this concept because it is it's a CN, a CNCH, it is so easy to manufacture one. Once this component is in place, we should cover it by using you know, this cover and eight bolts and nuts shown in here. I hope it will go there. I'm going to take one nut and put it there 
another one opposite corner and one is another then keep going like that but I'm not going to waste your time watching it you'll get the idea we are going to put all the other six in place and system will be ready then uh, compressed air will enter from here exit from there once I rotate the uh, system even though we don't see it maybe we may see its shadows they are moving as you see before it's very interesting uh, interesting and simple engine I am sure that some hobbies will do this uh, and put into YouTube and we all enjoy watching them thank you bye